Hi guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing some lovely homework. So for this video, I'm going to be vlogging by myself for the first ever time. And let's get it. On to my first equation. So we are on our first equation. We are going to find out what is 300 minus x minus 40 equals 120. So the first thing you're going to have to do is subtract. So our first step is to subtract 300 minus 40. So let's do that. So 300 minus 40 equals, so let's begin. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus four, you can't do, so you're gonna borrow from the neighbor. Just cross that out, the three, it'll turn into two since you're only borrowing one. Then one goes here, it'll turn into 10. 10 minus four is six, and two minus zero will basically be two. You might be thinking, we're done. But we're not done since we still have 120. So, we're gonna get our answer, 260 minus 120, right there. And we're gonna subtract again. Zero minus zero is zero. Six minus two is four. Two minus one is one. So basically, x, equals to 140. So let's find out if our answer is correct. Our answer right here. So we're gonna go substitute x to 140. So we're gonna put 300 minus 140 minus 40 equals 120. So this side should be equal to this side. So now we're gonna see if it's correct. So we're gonna do 300 minus 140. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus four you can't do, so go borrow from your neighbor. And take away one is two, so then you're gonna have the one turned into 10. So 10 minus four is six. Two minus one is one. There. So, you're not over yet, since you're gonna still see if it's equal to the other side. So, we're gonna do 160 minus 40 equals zero minus zero is zero. Six minus four is two. And one by itself is basically just one. And our answer is correct, yay! It's all correct, guys, and balance. The next challenge is this factor cube. So, the first thing we're gonna look at is the cube. So, we're gonna answer it now. So, we're gonna have to go fill in these two blanks to get 132. So, hmm, maybe 12 and 11, since 12, 12, times 11 equals 132. So you probably don't believe me, so I'm gonna show the tables. So 12, I'm gonna show you how to multiply 12 times 11. 12 and 11, multiply. So one times two is two, one times one is one, one times two is two, and one times one is one. Two, three, one. So our answer is 132. That's the same exact one as here. So I'm gonna go and erase all of that. And 11. So I accidentally made a mistake. 12 goes here on the right box and 11 goes on the left side of the box, right there. So I'm gonna go figure out what is what would 
B12 times what will equal 36? So if I do my tables, 12, 24, 36. One, two, three. So basically, I'm gonna need three. Boom, since 12 times three equals 36. Okay, on to the next one. So what is 66 with three? Hmm. 66 times three. I accidentally make another mistake. I'm pretty new to this, so I make a lot of mistakes. What will it make 11 times what will equal 66? So I know that six times 11 equals 66. So six would be here to complete the fraction key. So let's check each side. 11 times 12 equals 132. 12 times three equals 36. Six times three equals 18. 11 times six equals 66. So all of these are correct. Let's look at multiplication and factors. So let's go through maybe 60. So 60 here. And we're gonna see how much multiplication factors that we can do here. So maybe, hmm, two times 30 equals 60. What do you guys think works? 60 times one equals 60. <laughs> uh, maybe one times 60, it still works. It counts as in another equation. <laughs> Joke, well it still works, so basically it works. How about, let's go back earlier, maybe tw 12 times five equals 60. You have four examples right there, and they all work. They're all valid. Maybe, one more. Hmm. What's another one I missed? Oh yeah. There you go. I got all five of them. Or maybe one more. <laughs> I think I'm forgetting one more equation. What is that? Hmm. I can't remember, guys. I'm trying to remember mine. Hmm. Few moments later. So my dad told me that there is one more, so we're gonna go ahead and investigate and divide to see what is the last one. What is the last equation? Let's go find. So maybe we're gonna try the eights this time. So what is 60 divided by eight? So eight there. Hmm, can't do that. So we're gonna go to the second number, you can. So remember my eight tables. Eight times eight is 64, so that's too much. Eight times seven is 56. But it wouldn't work, I noticed. So I'm gonna go erase that, maybe try something else. Maybe, like, maybe 60 divided by six. One. It works, guys! So, the next one is 10 times 6 equals 60. I can't believe that I didn't get that, guys. I'm Right now, I feel like I'm so dumb, but <laughs> I just couldn't see it in my brain. At least I got this one. That's pretty hard, but yeah, I got them all right. Yahoo! Before I end this video, I have something amazing to share to you guys. I finally hit 1.4K on my YouTube channel. I thank all my subscribers everywhere on earth and thank you for supporting me so much, but I have to end the video here, so don't forget to like, subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button to be notified when my newest videos come up. Don't forget to share this with your friends so that people around the world can see a lot of math equations. And bye, move Bye.